Hello everybody, it is your boy Killer Frog, and today I have extremely exciting news because SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake has finally shown off the special edition of the game. This is something that I've been wondering when they were going to announce, and I guess today was finally the day. Um, of course I'm going to be getting this even if the price is way too expensive and uh, too much to the point where it's, it's a problem. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm a Spongebob fan. I, I gotta get everything. So, yeah, in this video, pretty much, we're gonna be reviewing the statue and giving my thoughts on all the different little items that you get. And, yeah, if you liked the video, hit that liggity like. And if you're new, give it a sibity sub. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because a lot of you have not been getting notified when I upload videos. And it's actually a huge problem, I noticed. So, yeah, if you can hit that button, it really does mean a lot. And I appreciate it so much. And, yeah, let's get to the video. So in the beginning of the video, we get to see the statue first, and this really does look amazing. Um, I love the transparency with the purple and everything and all the goo. Um, I feel like any type of figure with me, I'm always a sucker for that type of stuff. That's why I always love the little Gengar figures from Pokemon. They looked really cool to me. So we have SpongeBob standing in front of a portal, and then he's stepping on one of the little goo monsters, which once again, I love that. I think it looks really cool with the transparency. I'll, I could go on forever about that, but... So apparently this statue is called Cosmic Victory Statue, and the height is 25 centimeters. Pretty cool. Once again, I, I love when they do stuff like this, and I'm so glad they're continuing to do this because when they released the fun edition of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, I loved it. And I know a lot of people were complaining about the price, which, yeah, these things can get very, very pricey, but if you are a huge SpongeBob collector and you're a huge SpongeBob fan, then I feel like this is something worth getting. Um, I, I still cherish the three statues that I got, or little figures, and then the little tiki's. This stuff is amazing. I'm very happy. Uh, keep doing this. It was definitely a good choice to give him the band outfit from the episode Band Geeks. It's a beloved episode for many people, even including Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob, which is one of his favorite episodes, he said. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's a really good choice for this figure. And then we get some close-up shots of Patrick, and I think they did a very good job on him as well. Um, even the teeth and his eyes, uh, the eyebrows, pretty much everything. And the little detail with his like leg being the balloon, the end of a balloon. This looks pretty good. And then they give us a little 360 of the statue. Once again, I am absolutely loving the colors of this statue. I love the purple. I love the balloon Patrick. It's something that definitely needed to be added to the statue. I can't imagine it not being there. Um, great little detail. Very cool. I'm definitely going to be happy to own another Spongebob statue figure type thing because my figure case already has a whole bunch of Spongebob stuff in it, but I want it to be completely filled, and I don't know how many more games they plan on making or making special editions for, but if they keep doing this, I will be buying it every time. <laughs> I have a problem. So with the SpongeBob SquarePants BFF edition, you'll have a choice between four different systems. You have PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm not quite sure what system I'm going to get it on. Probably, I would say, yeah, PlayStation most likely. Because I'll probably get another copy of the game for when the game comes out day one. Um, I don't know if the whole special edition will get here before then. So that's what I usually did. At least I did that with the Battle for Bikini Bottom. So... Yeah, I gotta buy multiple copies of one game because that's not a waste of money or anything. So another thing that you will be getting in the special edition of this game is four different bouncy balls. Now, I don't know why this is so weird to me. I wasn't expecting something like this, but I think it's really cool. Um, we got Cowboy Spongebob, we got Karate Spongebob, and we have a pirate one. And we also have the night version of Spongebob from the episode Dunces and Dragons. So I love that episode. I'm happy to be able to own that once I get this. I feel like it does kind of fit with everything. It's like them being inside of the goo that's in this game. And it also just brings back memories for some odd reason of me going to like the gumball machines and getting different SpongeBob stuff out and the bouncy balls that would be in them. So this is kind of like nostalgic a little bit. <laughs> Definitely let me know in the comments out of the four which one is your favorite because mine is the night one. I just love that episode so much. It's hilarious. Got really good jokes. So yeah, that is why that one is my favorite. But I'm not going to lie, the Spongebob Cowboy, he is looking pretty cool. I kind of like that one a lot as well. So the next thing that you get is this inflatable Patrick, which does fit because he is a balloon pretty much. So 
making something like this fits with this whole special edition. Now, I love this a lot, but at the same time, I hope it never, like, I, I'll try to keep as best care as I possibly can of this thing, but I feel like it could easily get popped or something, but I will try my best to keep very good care of it. Um, it is a really cool addition to this box, that's for sure. So the next thing that you'll be getting in the special edition is absolutely amazing, and I'm so glad they added this. It's the Best Friends Forever ring, but as a necklace. I love the secret box, I thought it was a wonderful episode, and this is definitely something that I will be cherishing a lot. I don't know if I'll wear it though, um, I don't want to break it or lose it or anything, so I'll probably just have it in my figure case as well, but that is definitely my second favorite thing in this whole box. The thing I love about Cosmic Shake is you can tell they know how many people care about Spongebob in the older episodes, and being able to see something like this from an older episode. Um, just so many different references and everything is just amazing to me, and I'm glad they're doing it. So then you get this set of four placemats. We got the SpongeBob riding on Mystery with the long, beautiful hair. And then we got him as a snail from the episode I Was a Teenage Gary. And then we also got the little caveman SpongeBob riding on the rock. And then we have one of the Flying Dutchman in, I think, I'm trying to remember if that was Rock Bottom. I think it was. So the last thing that you get is this costume pack DLC, which I'm not sure what we'll be getting, but with what they've shown off, I know the costumes are going to be absolutely amazing, and I'm excited to see them. From what we've seen, there are a lot of nice costumes, and I know they're going to be bringing back a whole bunch of references to older episodes and possibly newer ones as well, because I know a lot of you are fans of newer episodes of SpongeBob. Um, I do need to give it a chance because I haven't tried to, and a lot of you have been telling me to, so I possibly I might, I don't know. I really am happy that they finally showed off the special edition of this game. Once again, I wasn't even sure if they were going to do it, but I'm glad they're continuing to keep making special editions for these games, and I hope they continue to do it in the future if they do plan on making more SpongeBob games, because I will be buying them, because I'm crazy. And I am obsessed with Spongebob. But yeah, don't forget, if you liked the video, hit that lickety like. And if you're new, give it a sippity sub. Comment down below letting me know what your favorite item out of all the things we've seen in this video was. And once again, don't forget, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. Because once again, a lot of you aren't getting notified. And I just want to make sure you guys see the videos and know I'm actually uploading. So yeah. I will see you guys very soon with all kinds of spongy content, and I'll be making a Destroy All Humans Let's Play video, which should be out maybe in a week or two from now, or a little bit longer, but I've pretty much filmed everything for it, and it should be very, very exciting, and yeah, see you guys.